name for us? My name, Robert Bennion. Now, are you from Milton? Yes, I went to Milton High School, born here, and um, I went to Colby University, undergrad, University of Pennsylvania Law School, and moved back after law school, and I've uh, practiced law here since 1973. I'm also a borough solicitor, uh, and my office is located on Broadway, just about three blocks down the street. The main item here is the um, the Milton, Pennsylvania, uh, 1909 souvenir of the Sons of the Veterans of the uh, Union uh, Military Encampment in Old Homely. And essentially what happened was uh, the Sons of the Veterans of the Union War uh, soldiers formed an organization, um, I think it was formed in early 1878, but then there were local organizations throughout the state of the country. And, um, they had a, what they called an encampment, which was kind of a get-together convention, if you want to call it, at different places throughout the country and the state. And this happened to be one they had in Milton. And so when they organized this, they did a, um, a, a sort of a, a photo compilation and a history, et cetera, of various industries, co uh, commercial properties throughout the borough of Milton. And then the various businesses. There's the Milton Hotel, which is one of the finest hotels in the state at that point, all of those, and then, um, and then there was the fire of 1880, which is a big event, and there's some pictures of that. The other item is something that I've got to have around. I bought it back in 1974, <clears throat> when I first moved back and started practicing law. Some when I was in an estate, and I just happened to like the box. It was very colorful, and it, it's uh, basically a, um, <clears throat> back in those days, which is around the same time that we would have here, 1909, uh, when you, uh, when a merchant got in something, it came in a box by train normally, of course, particularly if it's pepper, because it had to come from across the ocean to be able to get here. So we shifted in a box like this, and he would, um, the box would be designed so that he would display to the public, this would be facing out there. On the back, it also has the name of the merchant as well. So when you came into the store, he would open the lid and would scoop out your pepper and put it into whatever container you had. Um, most of them don't survive because, of course, they were thrown away or trashed. But this one happened to uh, survive, and uh, this had a very uh, lovely picture in the front, and um, sort of reminiscent of what life used to be back like back in those days. I found it at Salem, you know, so uh, it was just one of those things that um, I sort of hung on to over the years because it was kind of a little neat, kind of attractive. The books, and um, actually, my parents, who also lived just outside of Milton, were um, and they retired from teaching and stock business. They they um, got into antiques and uh, they would pick up items that said they had an antique shop out on Broadway at that time. And they happened to buy this and a couple other ones. There's one of 1905, which is earlier, um, another in Cameron. Not quite as nice. This one is in better shape. Um, so I got it through them. After the Industrial Revolution and after the um, um, Civil War, uh, Milton grew substantially, particularly from a manufacturing standpoint. It originally started from a, basically a grist mill here, that's why it's called Milton. But um, as time went on, the, uh, of course the canal went through and then went to the railroad, and it became a, a, an industrial center. Steel production, um, clothing, um, pretty much anything you can imagine they produced here. That's sort of, you know, where, how things arose, and I think this book particularly uh, depicts a period of time when it was a very booming community. The industries eventually, um, we have two left, Boyardi's mm -hmm. and ACF pretty much, the big industries. And um, commercially, of course, after the Agnes flood, it really devastated things. And uh, commercially, the town never came back. Um, just one of those facts of history. Of course, many of your other industrial towns in and along the river here have had the same problem because the malls occurred and uh, things changed from a, from a commercial standpoint. But for my childhood, it was a, just a wonderful experience.